this teacher's learning objective for his students is that his students will walk away knowing how to successfully add and subtract. He tests his students' knowledge, teaches them new knowledge, and refreshes them on previously learned knowledge. After this, he lets them practice with him. He then lets them move on to the computer and work independently. The computer gives the students feedback. It lets them move on to the next level once they have mastered skill, or has them stay on the same level until they have demonstrated they understand the concept. This is where the evidence of varying levels of cognition come into play, as well as differentiation with technology comes in. Students are all learning at the same thing, but at different levels and speeds, without singling anyone out or giving them different work. The teacher has more time to work with students who are stuck and need extra help, while the students who understand the work can move forward at their own pace. I believe that while this is a fun activity and many students enjoy this, it may make some students feel bad for not being at a higher level like other students are. With that being said, this could be used as a motivator for some students when they have their work time working with a teacher, while the other students are working on games. The teacher could explain that they are working one-on-one -on -one so that they can catch up and gain a higher level once they have under the understanding of how the concept works. Those students who are getting the concepts probably enjoy the games and their success or completion of the levels.